Hi, in this video we want to show the local truncation error for the downwind scheme. Now the downwind scheme can be is given by u n and plus one equals to one plus p a u n n minus p a u n plus one n. Now this downwind scheme is um the example of one numerical approximation for the hyperbolic equation or the um, example is it one hyperbolic equation is the wave wave equation which is given by this equation so ut plus a u x equals to zero which is also the advention equation now we want to find the local truncation error for this scheme okay so the lte is given by tm n plus 1 equals to u n n plus 1 minus big u m n plus 1 okay now um this is the exact and this is the approximation now in our case the approximation here refer to this downwind scheme okay so first what we want to do we want to find the Taylor series expansion for the exact and the approximation for the exact the Taylor series expansion so u m n plus 1 we can write as u x m t n plus k. Now expanding these in terms of series will give you u plus k u t plus k two over two factorial u t t plus da 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 n n. Now this can also be written as if you don't want to write in this form, you can also write a one plus k partial over partial t plus k2 over 2 factorial partial squared over partial t squared u m n okay both are the same notation he don't get confused so it's either this one or this one so remember when i multiply u and so will be u k u t and so on okay so this is the only expansion you need for the z now for the approximation which is the exact solution by the downwind, which is the approximation by the downwind scheme. Now, we need to expand this, okay? We need to expand this. There are, if you look at here, which is given by 1 plus PA, 1 plus PA, U M N uh, minus P A U M plus one. Okay, so we have minus Okay, so this is the approximation. Okay, the downwind scheme. This downwind scheme here, sorry, just not to make mistakes, so we have plus here, okay, I'm just comparing, okay, good. So now we want to do, we want to expand each and one of these in terms of series, especially this one, because UMN, written as U, X, M, T, N. Now this one in terms of series, U, M plus 1, N is U, X, M plus H. Tn expanding in terms of series by h you have u plus h u x plus h2 over 2 factorial u x x plus h3 over 3 factorial which is 6 u x x x plus h4 over 4 factorial and so on okay we can expand more but the goal is we must leave two term in one term in t and one term of x at the end 
Okay, if you feel like you have expand enough, then you gotta um, add the equation later. Okay, now what we have here. So putting into this equation, so we have u m n plus one equals to one plus p a u m n minus p a this this whole thing here u plus h u x plus h two over two u x x plus h three over six u x x x plus h four over twenty four u x x x x so on okay so there is that the term that you can cancel out such as this term with this term so now i have u m n multiply with this now minus p a this and this so we have h u x so I think it's better to put them all in the back end. So we have plus H2 over 2 UXX plus H3 over 6 UXXX plus H4 over 24 UXXXX and so on. Okay, so now what we do here, this is the Taylor series expansion by the approximate downwind scheme. So the LTE now, like I, I've written, is given by the EZ minus with the approximation. Okay, so the EZ, we have expanded. They have expanded the EZ expression, which is given by u plus k u t plus k 2 over 2 u t t and so on so i can write this equals to u plus k u t plus k 2 over 2 factorial u t t so on and n minus with this this equation here the downwind approximation by the downwind Okay, which is given by u m n minus p a. And remember, don't make the notation wrong. Um, so p a. Now we are back at h u x plus h two over two u x x plus h3 over 6 u x x x plus h4 over 24 u x x x so on m and n okay so now we are almost come to the conclusion okay we combining and cancelling some of the common term especially this term and this term cancels out. So we have KUT minus PAHUX, this and this, plus this term here, K2 over 2 UTT, negative will be minus PAH2 over 2 u x x minus p a h three over six u x x x minus p a h four over twenty four u x x x x is four x here okay and all this term m n Okay, so let's see what can be cancelled out, what cannot be cancelled out. So, uh, we know that K over H is P, okay? Is my P. Okay, so this term here, you look at um, the sign here, so this is negative, negative, it should be a positive sign. Forgive me for doing this mistake. 
So, negative. Okay, negative. So, this term here is the hyperbolic equation. Okay, which um, cancels out. Okay, because we know that ut plus uh, a ux equals to 0. Now, what I do is dividing this by k, you have what I have here, KUT plus PAHUX, which is equals to um, divide by divide by K PAH over KUX. Uh, what is T is K over H, so UT plus K over H, AH over K. You add, you can see that um, some of the term cancels out, such as this term, this term cancels out. So we'll give me ut plus aux, which is equal to zero. So this term is zero. This will leave me with k k two over two utt. Yes, and so on. Now, these are the remaining term that we don't need actually. Like I say, if you you need to leave one term involving T and one term involving X. So, we don't need this term actually. So, all we need is this term. K2 over 2 UTT plus PA is squared over 2 UXX. MN. Okay, so we have come to the conclusion. So the local truncation error is therefore given by UTT plus A. Take out K squared. We have A over P. U, X, X, M, N. Okay, this is also known as the principal part. Now look at the transformation I have made. Okay. H here is being removed, okay? So, we can, like I say, we use K over H equals to P. So, what is K2 over P2 equals to H squared? So, I have this term here. Forget about 2 because I take up 2. So, this term here, I have uh, PA. What is H squared? H squared is k squared over p squared p and p cancels out one term a over p and k squared are right in the middle okay so this is the principal part for the lte that's all for today so hope you can derive any other method or find the lte for any other um, explicit scheme for the heat equation on your own thank you